Today, Apple released macOS 10.12.2, the latest version of macOS Sierra. There are some uh, new features in this version, similar to the iOS update that came out yesterday, notably Emoji 9.0 support, so new emojis. There's also performance updates, uh, some new wallpapers. If you have a 2016 MacBook Pro, some people have had issues with graphics problems, ghosting and other problems with the display not working correctly. Apple says that those are addressed with this software update. The other big thing that is in this new version, they're removing the time remaining feature from the battery indicator. So there have been a lot of reports about battery issues, particularly on the 2016 MacBook Pro. Apple's solution here to that is to simply get rid of that feature and not allow you to see exactly how much time you have remaining. The reason is they say that the time remaining is just not accurate. With the newest chips and with background tasks, and with the, uh, especially with the dedicated graphics models, switching from high performance dedicated graphics to lower performance integrated graphics, basically they're saying that because of all of those things, the time remaining indicator is just not correct. So I've continued to read about the battery reports. It seems like a lot of it could have to do with initial uh, spotlight indexing, iCloud syncing, kind of initial software features that are running in the background that you might not be aware of. And that after those initial issues go away, after those initial things go away, the battery returns to normal. I've noticed that with my computer, 2016 MacBook Pro without touch bar, I noticed that it seems to have a lot of lag in terms of updating how much battery life I have remaining. So I might be doing something intensive and it drops the battery life down to two and a half hours remaining. And then once I stop doing that task, if I'm quickly just exporting a video or something like that, it takes a long amount of time to switch and say, okay, actually you have seven hours left, actually you have eight hours left. So maybe Apple is right in saying that the indicator is misrepresenting how much time is left and that's telling users that they really aren't getting the battery life that they're promised. On the other hand, it seems kind of weird and incomplete to me that instead of even saying, oh, we're, we're pumping down a software update uh, to try to help this issue or to be more explicit with why they're getting rid of the feature, just getting rid of it and not replacing it with an updated version doesn't really work well for me. It just seems kind of strange. So uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on this. Uh, normally I don't comment on minor OS updates because there's not that much going on here, but something just sits wrong with me to say that, you know, there's complaints of battery issues. Apple's response is to kind of go behind, uh, go in the shadows and just get rid of the time remaining. Seems kind of weird, so I'd love to hear your feedback. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you click subscribe so all my latest videos come right to your YouTube homepage. Thanks for watching.